Hello YouTube. Well, today I'm on holiday and I'm spending a week in the beautiful Yorkshire Dales. We've rented a delightful two-bedroomed cottage in a very peaceful, quiet little hamlet with beautiful views and uh, it's very nice. Now, before I entered the property, I did know, I did find out, I know I'm sad, but I knew that they had a Henry vacuum cleaner to clean the cottage. And here it is. But it's not a standard Henry because the people who told me it was a Henry who'd been here before didn't realise that it's in fact a Henry Micro. So the model that we have, it's an HVR200M22. It's an older version, I don't know how old, it's a few years old because the switch arrangement at the back is different. It's got the green low and high button and the on off switch but the newer Henrys have an auto save feature so when you turn them on they originally or initially start on the low setting until you override them by pressing a button and then it goes into the standard but with this you select low or high yourself and whichever setting you've got it in it will start in that setting so if you leave it on high when you switch it off it'll start off in high so here's the Henry Micro very similar to the regular Henry although it has a slightly better filter inside so anyway, when I found out they had a Henry, I thought, hmm, I don't think the carpets are going to be very clean. Now, I'm not dissing Henrys, they are fantastic machines, they're quiet, they're reliable, they're well made, they're ideal for many situations, and they're among the top sellers if you look on Amazon.co.uk and Very.co.uk, they're always in the top, top five. Henry or his pink sister Hetty, they're always up there and people rave about them. Now, Henry does a good job on the surface. You know, you can go, they're not very good on pet hairs unless you get the Henry that's got the rotating brush. But for most people, they'll use a Henry and think, yes, the carpet looks clean. And this is why a lot of commercial properties use Henrys and a lot of self catering cottages have Henrys. Um, a cottage I say in the Lake District, they also have a Henry. So, you know, they're a good, reliable little machine. But, because I was coming on holiday, I decided to bring one of my vacuum cleaners with me, and it had to be one that was quite small and compact, and in fact, I managed to get it into a suitcase, along with a few other items. And the vacuum cleaner I bought was a Morphe Richards Lift Away Complete Clean bagless upright vacuum cleaner. I've done other videos, I've done an unboxing video of it and I've, it also features in the Dyson DC25 demo video that I've done. It will have its own video shortly but this is going to actually be a comparison between the Morphe Richards and the Henry Micro. So anyway the cleaner will have been and cleaned the cottage on the Saturday before we arrived. The carpets did look quite grubby I must say but you expect that in, in a property in the Dales when people are, are, are trampling in after being out for a walk. So I used Henry earlier after putting a new bag in because the bag was chock-a-block full as they tend to be when you find them because the cleaners don't tend to empty them or change the bags often but at least it did have a bag in it but just a paper bag and not a proper pneumatic bag it was just a, one of the cheaper copy spare bags. So I've used it and yes, it's what I expected. I've owned Henry's before and other pneumatic cleaners and it's just what I expected. So then I thought I'll come upstairs to the main bedroom where I'm sat now and use my Morphe Richards. I'll just go around on the carpet. What a difference. I'm going to put Henry down now and fetch the container from the Morphe Richards. So this isn't a live demo but I've only done one room and I will be cleaning the rest of the cottage and I will show you exactly how much dirt I've got out of the carpet that good old Henry, as good as he is, unfortunately didn't manage to pick up. So just don't go away. I'm just going to now show you the dirt I got out of a, a reasonably sized bedroom carpet. Well here's the very nice bedroom that I've cleaned with the Morphe Richards. Unfortunately you can't see what the carpet looked like before, it looked a bit different to this. The Morphe Richards has brought the pile up, the colour has changed, in fact it does look like it's been shampooed. There's several rugs in here as well that have been cleaned. I also moved the rugs, cleaned under the rugs, 
I couldn't get right under the bed, unfortunately it doesn't go that low, uh, but I moved that table, I uh, moved that chair there, cleaned under there, just cleaned everywhere really, all around, with the Morthe Richards, after the cleaner had been round with little old Henry. Here's the cleaner I'm talking about, the Morthe Richards Complete Clean Lift Away, which is obtainable in the USA under the Shark brand as the Shark Navigator Professional Lift Away. Now it's getting a bit dark, and if you can just see out there, this is the view from this bedroom window. You see, quite idyllic there in the Yorkshire Dales. So out of this room, and this room only, there's still a further bedroom to do and uh, stairs and landing living room I'm going to clean, but this is the extra dirt that the Morphe Richards removed that the Henry unfortunately left behind. That's opening the top of the container. I think I'm going to have to open both to show you. And normally you wouldn't empty all your rubbish out onto the floor, but I'm going to clean it back up again. Let's just see. And remember, this is just this bedroom. And it's a bedroom, not a downstairs room. And you'd assume that most people... I'm going to have to open the other side. Most people wouldn't wear their walking shoes upstairs in the bedroom. I think that's everything. Oh, is there a bit more? There's a little bit more just clinging to the central filter. There we go. So now that's empty. And this is the extra dirt that that Morphe Richards cleaner has removed from this bedroom carpet. Look at that. Not just all this fibrous material, but an, a lot of dust. Oh, that's what I picked up earlier. Now that, <laughs> that looks like quite an old five pence bee. Something was rattling about. That's an old one. I don't, I don't often see five pence pieces, don't often handle money these days. But that to me, I'll clean it up, looks like quite an old five pence piece. Oh no, 2003. There we go, so it found a five pence piece that the Henry Micro missed, but that could be the cleaner's fault for not actually going right up to the edges. So there we go, that is the extra dirt. So now, if I've got time, I'm going to clean the rest of this cottage with the Morphe Richards Complete Clean Lift Away. And then I'll just bring all the dirt up here and empty it and show you just how much dirt has been picked up with the Morphe Richards. So stay tuned, I'll be back in a heartbeat. I'll just show you the carpets before they're cleaned. This is the landing just outside the bedroom that got all that extra dirt. So there's the landing. We've got the stairs, which I will use the Morphe Richards on these stairs, and I'll use it in upright mode because these stairs are quite wide, and I'll easily be able to use the Morphe Richards with the brush on the stairs. Also, something that most people don't have nowadays, there is carpet in this bathroom, not very hygienic, but the pile seems quite flattened. If you compare it, if you ignore the dirt there, the pile has been revitalised in this room. And then there's another bedroom here, excuse the mess, wasn't, wasn't really planning to show you in here. It's getting a bit dark here in the Yorkshire Dales. We've only been here a day, so we haven't really put everything away. But anyway, there's this bedroom carpet to be cleaned. We'll pop down the stairs, which I will be cleaning. There's rugs, which I'll also give these rugs a clean. There's a rug here, just in the kitchen area. And there's also a mat built into the uh, stone floor, which will be cleaned too. So all these area rugs we will clean. But you'd think the Henry would be able to cope with a very short pile rug. Another rug there, and there's another mat by the door there. And here's the living room. 
which I have vacuumed the main part of this living room because I had to clip one of my dog's fur because she was sweeping the Yorkshire Dales and bringing all sorts of rubbish in. So we've got this carpet. Feels quite soft underfoot. It's a, um, one of those rag sort of throw rugs. So the carpet's a bit thicker down here and it feels quite soft underfoot and bouncy but I can pretty, pretty be sure that uh, once I've used the Morphe Richards it will be even bouncier underfoot because there'll be a lot of dirt that has been removed. So that's the areas I'm going to clean. Obviously not the hard floors because Henry's fine on the hard floors. But it's all these stairs, the landing, the bathroom and the second bedroom. So. You've got a lot of work to do, Morphe Richards. Let's see if you're up to the challenge. finished now cleaning the landing, the bathroom and the second bedroom and the only part of the second bedroom I haven't cleaned is just that bit where there's a big suitcase which I didn't bother moving. So I've done all the main area and already it looks like it's been shampooed. Underfoot the carpet feels softer. This is because I've been using an upright cleaner with a rotating brush. Now straight suction cleaner, and I am using this video to compare the Henry Micro, but really it would apply to any vacuum cleaner that just uses suction to clean, that doesn't employ any form of agitation, such as a, a cylinder vacuum with either a turbo brush or an electrical powered nozzle, or in fact of course an upright cleaner. And the reason I'm using the Morphe Richards, two reasons, one because it, it collapses down and fitted into quite a small suitcase, and the other reason is I know it's a good vacuum cleaner from the testing I've been doing on it. It did better, for example, than the Dyson DC25. So the first carpet we cleaned, which was this bedroom, got that much extra dirt that poor little Henry Micro couldn't dream of reaching. Now we're just going to see what dirt we've got out just from the second bedroom, the landing and the bathroom. Here's the container. Now you might think, yes, it's sad that I've bought a vacuum cleaner on holiday, but because my carpets are kept pretty clean, it's very hard to see how well a vacuum cleaner removes deep down old dirt. So, this is one way I can find out by using it on carpets that have only been cleaned with a cylinder cleaner straight suction. Quite a lot, I'm going to have to put my hand in. It's one little disadvantage of, of this cleaner. Some bits do tend to get trapped in the bagless container. It's a little bit more to come yet. I want to show you everything. 
there's still one little stubborn bit of dirt clinging on for dear life inside. There we are. Oh, there's still a little bit more. So, there we go. There we are. I think that's about it. So, so far, the Morph Richards complete clean lift away from one bedroom has removed, removed that much extra dirt from the carpet that looked fairly clean. And now there's all this extra dirt from the other bedroom, the landing, and the bathroom. And there's, I know I shouldn't be touching it, it's gross because there's a lot of people's skin cells in there and they're people I don't even know. So right, if it's your own family, you, can, you kind of sort of can cope with that, but that, I don't know where that skin belongs to, but uh, So there we go, that's two piles. Now, I'm going to use some more for Richards on the stairs. Now the stairs are something that, even if you've got an upright vacuum cleaner, the stairs probably don't get used with the upright portion. So you'll probably use your tools or sometimes you might have a turbo nozzle that attaches to your hose. With the Morph Richards, unfortunately I didn't bring any of the above floor tools with me because I just wanted to use it for the carpets. But if I wanted to use it on the stairs, it has this rather nifty feature. You just press this button here, then I can lift the suction unit away from the power head. So now I've got a compact suction unit that I can carry around. There's another little button at the back here to release the tube. And with this machine you, you do actually get a turbo brush, a crevice nozzle and a dusting brush that you can either fit onto the end of the tube or directly to the handle. But because the stairs I'm about to clean are wide and and they're what I think they're not quite as steep as some stairs, they're like a half step. Each step is like a half step in height. So I don't think I'll have too much difficulty in cleaning, let's try and put that back on, in cleaning the stairs using the actual upright part. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to give the stairs the sort of deep clean that they've probably never had and then we'll check the results in the bin. Now I've just cleaned the stairs with the Morphe Richards complete clean lift away and they do look a lot better. They feel softer underfoot, with half landing especially you can just see the carpet lines and I've done the rest of the stairs. I've also managed to do the stair risers which even I seldom clean and I even managed to, to use the machine in upright mode on the stair risers because it is very light. Let's look. Not so much dirt or saying that. This is just the stairs I've cleaned. So we don't want to make a mess of every room of the house. So we'll just go upstairs and empty the contents of the bag or the container. So that's just from the stairs. And it looks like the dogs are back from their walk. So I've still got downstairs to do the area rugs and the living room. Once I've cleaned that, we'll finish the video and add to the pile, we'll have an extra pile to show you. But this is everything that the Morph Richards cleaners picked up that the poor Henry Micro has left. Well, I finally finished. The light in the Yorkshire Dales is fading. I've completed my test using the Morph Richards Complete Clean Lift Away versus the Henry Micro that's been used to clean this rental cottage. The first pile we got out was from the main bedroom. The second pile was from the second bedroom, landing and bathroom. And the third pile was from the stairs. Now I've just cleaned the living room and three small rugs from downstairs. And maybe not as much volume as this dirt, 
but it's dirtier dirt. The colour of the muck is darker. That's not all, that's not all folks. A little bit more in. That's about it. So there we have it. Let's get the container back on the machine. I'll give that a proper clean up and the filter will require a wash now. It's absolutely caked in muck. So here we have the Morphe Richards Complete Clean Lift Away Bagless Vacuum Cleaner. And here we have the Henry Micro that has been keeping these carpets clean in this holiday cottage for a few years. Well, I say it's been keeping them clean, but obviously from all this extra dirt <laughs> It's astounding how much extra dirt the Morph Richards has picked up. Now, I'm not bashing Henry's, as I've said before, they're good for certain applications, but for domestic use, if you've got thick pile carpets or even medium pile carpets or pets, really you're better off with either the Henry Extra, which has the rotating turbo brush, full size turbo brush, or an upright cleaner. Now, I know the Morph Richards is a good machine. And this extra dirt has proved it. I'm going to use it again a couple more times before we leave. And certainly on the day when we leave, I'll quickly go around the whole house with it. And I don't expect to get this much, much extra dirt out. But I do expect to at least get another load of this out. Because it will still be pulling more dirt out of the carpet. Unfortunately, the Henry, it's okay. It makes the carpet look clean on the surface. But from this test, unfortunately, it doesn't clean deep down and that will apply to any suction only cleaner to be honest so I'm not just saying it's going to be just Henry but any vacuum cleaner if you use a vacuum cleaner and it just has a nozzle like this I don't care whether it's a cheap Chinese supermarket model or a top-line kneeler if you're just using suction only to clean your carpets you will never get a real deep clean it will clean the surface and some of the better ones will clean a bit deep down, but not completely to the base of the pile. What you need is a machine with a rotating brush and preferably either a power head on a cylinder or obviously an upright cleaner. And obviously the Morphe Richards did very well and other upright cleaners would have produced possibly similar, similar results to this. Because once you've gone from using suction only and you use an upright cleaner, you will be amazed how much dirt you've been living with. So, from the Lake District, well not the Lake <laughs> So, from the Yorkshire Dales, on this lovely evening, it's brightening up a bit now, I can now have a nice relaxing evening knowing that we're not surrounded by all this filth. Thanks for watching. If you want to subscribe to my channel, please do so. There's lots of other videos to check out if you're interested in vacuum cleaners or finding a machine to clean your home. See you soon.